Vielen Dank, Frau Dr. Flick. Thank you, Dr. Flick. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm honored and pleased to introduce the keynote speaker of tonight, Mr. Jens Spahn, who has been a member of the German Parliament for 15 years. Since 2012, he's been a member of the board of the CDU. And since 2014, he has been a member of the executive committee of the party. He became the parliamentary undersecretary with the Federal Ministry of Finance in July 2015. And in this capacity, he has focused on the budget, on Europe, and on digitization, i.e. on themes which are of key importance for the future of our country. And here, I would like to draw a line and remind you of tonight's topic. As Dr. Flick has said already, we will focus on the federal budget of 2030, how to remain successful economically and socially. We are thus focusing on the Convoco theme of the year 2017, which is the common good in the 21st century, because a fundamental prerequisite so that there is a common good for us and for future generations is sustainable economic activity, which, of course, requires adequate and the appropriate use of financial resources. Jens Spahn says that the balanced budget the Federal Republic of Germany has had for several years now is an example of generational justice. Jens Spahn was born and grew up in Aarhus, which is in the uh, Münsterland region. He was a member of the local council from 1999 to 2009. And at the time already, he could focus on a city and what needs to be done in a city where the inhabitants are getting older and older, like, for example, green traffic lights for a long period of, period of time so that pedestrians can cross the road safely or adequate forms of living and housing so that the elderly feel well. In the beginning, these were the questions he focused on. And later, of course, he also focused on pension schemes and indebtment. Now, these are questions we need to bear in mind because they will be decisive aspects for our road into the future and also for the federal budget because we want to make sure that the federal budget in the year 2030 is still a basis for social and economic success. Right now, the German economy is doing well. Economically spoken, we are better off than ever. An unemployment rate of 3.7%, which is the lowest figure ever since the German reunification um, the payment balance um, result was about 9% of the GDP last year, i.e. in this field we are doing better than China. And our economists tell us a growth rate of the real gross domestic product for the years to come amounting to 1.8%. 8%. However, we need to see this against the backdrop of favorable external conditions, financing conditions, but also um, exchange rate conditions. But then we also need to bear in mind that about one quarter of the German population is above 65 years of age. I, we rank on the second position right after Italy as far as the demographic structure of the country is concerned. Demographic change, of course, will have 
another impact on social security systems as we know and see already today. The um, premiums will increase. This will mean further challenges for financial and fiscal policies. And we need to bear in mind that the digitization and technology change in, econ in the economy and in the society are other fields which are important. More and more services are being automated today. But what happens to the people who have had those jobs so far? And we are also facing major global and long-term challenges and their impact, like migration, refugee crises, the impact of the climate change. All this is present and will be an, a topical issue in the near future and will trigger major debates in our society. We need to ask what can be done in order to make use of the financial resources of our society in the best possible way so as to preserve the values which are the very foundations of our democratic society. We would like to keep society intact. What can be done in order to plan the budget of the country so that it corresponds to the directives of the European um, Union and bears the requirements of coming generations in mind? Jens Spahn will certainly offer answers to some of these questions. It may be we also learn from him how to understand the concept of the common good, a concept which has come out of fashion, unfortunately. So I'm looking forward to introducing the keynote speaker, dear Jens Spahn. The floor is yours.